Now, there's one other uh, area that we'll talk about a little bit uh, before we uh, part company for the evening. And that is this, uh, what's referred to as the election of corporate rates, section 962. Uh, this is a section that almost nobody looked at prior to, again, the, uh, the recent uh, uh, Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. Uh, let me speak uh, first as to why it's there and then what it does. Now, I think in our various pictures before, you know, we've often, we've often had, uh, let's say, an individual. We've often had uh, an individual. This is probably one of my better drawings. <laughs> I, I was worried we were going to miss this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, you certainly have your worry in the wrong place. <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, uh, an individual that owns comp uh, Company Y, and let's say that Company Y, of course, has some subpart F income, or, uh, or actually, let's make it guilty rather than subpart F, because the, uh, the results are, uh, uh, are sort of worse. Uh, let's say it has guilty of 100. The individual has to recognize that income and pay uh, up to, let's say, 37 of U.S. tax plus the 3.8 percent of, uh, uh, of net investment income. So, you know, this is one of these, you know, like, terrible results. We know that why, uh, I'm sorry, we know that the individual will have to recognize this and pay the tax, even though Y has not paid a dividend. The individual has the income and a big tax obligation, but no cash to pay the tax with. So what 962 does, and there's a lot of controversy now in terms of what the Treasury should do or not do in terms of regulations on this subject, but the, the point is that 962 was put in to alleviate this situation. Since if the individual were a corporation, he would have a foreign tax credit and also, uh, you know, be taxed at a different rate, uh, which was often lower than the individual rate, much lower than the individual rate. The logic of Congress was, well, let's not, you know, beat on this individual in a fashion worse than a corporate shareholder would have. So they said the individual, if he elects, Instead of paying that 37, you know, plus the 3.8, instead of paying that 37, he can pay the corporate rate and also reduce that by whatever foreign tax credit he would be allowed. And then at some future date, when he actually receives a dividend or he sells the shares, will take the rest. So this was meant to alleviate, you know, the pain and suffering. Now, with the, uh, with the significant uh, things that have happened in the, uh, uh, in the uh, uh, Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, the uh, this guilty, which affects individuals just as it affects uh, corporate, corporate uh, owners and so on, and also the fact that the individual doesn't get the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, participation exemption. This Section 962 has become very, very, very important. Again, the computations, there's questions on what they'll be because Regulations are not out yet, but this will be a more important thing in the future.
not so important in the past. Now, does anybody have any questions or comments that, that they want to raise and as a result force everybody to stay longer <laughs> past the time? Okay. Okay, well, thank you very much. We'll, uh, we'll continue uh, a few things and then, uh, you know, on two, well, no, you, you can get up. Uh, we'll just continue a few things on Tuesday uh, to finish off subpart F and then we'll go into the, uh, the other areas. So thank you.